without a doubt the most misused, abused, and accused word in all mankind is love. See, people try and find it in all the wrong places. They're not so too lame and they find that they've been searching in some high places. See, love is universal. Recognize it no matter what your race is, but you don't feel it. So you're trying to fill your heart, but you can't reach for the empty spaces. But apparently the world has a lot to say about love plus one. See, a father can walk out of his entire family but claim to love his son. Her clique claims to love her, but one of them slip and suddenly she is shunned. And your gang says the only you love to find is the love of your own gun. Say what you will. I doubt that's the love of the club press to say he's done. See, it appears to me that the world has more to say about what love, what love is not, rather than what it is in reality. Us as humans toss the bird around so lightly without fully understanding its gravity. So when we utter the word all too soon, it's as if suddenly we are on the moon. At first, we step with caution, then without fear, feeling so majestic to remember that there's no longer oxygen in the atmosphere. We realize we've taken one step for man, one giant step back for love. So, gasping in desperation, we cry out to the very heavens above. God sees us and has no reason to forgive, but is compelled by love. So he mercifully takes us in his hand and sets off feet on the rock which his children shall stand. We shall not be pushed, nor shoved, nor sword and grave through the words of our God so loved. So the very word that once caused you so much strife now gives you eternal life. See, God's compelling love will save us. It's from us to decide what we make of this life he gave us. See, the love he showed to me, I shall show to my brothers. It's a shame if God chose his compelling love, you're not compelled to help others. See, we're compelled by what moves us. So this world's compelled by money, clothes, and cars. So while the people of this world are compelled by worldly things, I'm compelled by my Savior's scars. Mm -hmm. The scars of 40 days worth of beatings, and he thought of us the entire time. See, he might have had a cross on his back and a crown of thorns on his head, but he had also on his mind. Mm -hmm. The fact that he did this out of love for me compels me to love others the same. I'm compelled to make sure that no one will go a lifetime without hearing his name. See, Christ was compelled to die for me, so I'm compelled to live for him. Christ defeated death and we're doing that he defeated sin. So you catching the pattern that love compels? Compels so deeply that you can defeat the pits of hell? And when you defeat hell, you bring success to light. For my brethren, you don't battle for victory, but rather from. For my father's already won the fight. Come on.